Hey everybody, my name is Lacey Roy and I'm from Oxford, Mississippi, where I now attend school at the University of Mississippi with an interest in business. Here with us today, we have Chris Roy from Oxford, Mississippi, who is going to tell us about how he got started with his trucking company. Chris, if you wouldn't mind, start off telling me how you got started with your business and a little about yourself. Hey everyone, I'm Chris. Uh, I got started in trucking at the age of 18. I'm now 51. Uh, just had an interest in trucking and, you know, lived here all my life and trying to just start a business for myself. When you first got started, did you ever encounter any hardships along the way? You always uh, have issues getting started. You have, you gotta, you know, money, uh, and you gotta have money, ambition, and ready to work at all times, uh, to own your own business and be able to, you know, do, do some stuff that other folks don't want to do. How were you able to keep this business up for so long? In order to keep a business going for such a long time, uh, I had to put 110% effort into the work, uh, work long hours. It's not an eight to five job. You're always working nonstop. And, you know, I had to make judgments and, and learn to put money back into the business and, and, and save money. I know from my personal knowledge that truckers are on the road a lot. Did this affect you or your family, or did you try to stay close to home? Well, having two young kids, I tried to make it possible, you know, possible not to be too far away from the house. Uh, uh, you know... I, I, I used to do the long hauls and uh, until I had my kids, and then I tried to stay close to home. Um, you know, that's when I, I realized I needed to branch out and start hiring drivers and buying more trucks. I can definitely see how being on the road can be very hard when you have a family to raise back home. <clears throat> yes, that's, that is when, uh, you know, you start being careful and realizing you need to cut cut back on it, you know. Uh, that's when I know I need to, you know, have more employees. One last thing before I let you go. Do you still maintain this business or are you doing something else now? I am doing something else now uh, where I can put my focus on my family and be able, you know, to see my kids grow up. Thank you so much for your time today, Chris. It is such an inspiration hearing a former business owner's path. Thank you.